वेलकम टू ऑल द व्यूअर्स दिस इज़ डॉक्टर बुकवाम बैक विद अनदर फुली फंडेड स्कॉलरशिप अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू फ्राम द कंट्री ऑफ ड्रीम्स एंड टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नन अदर देन द सिंगापोर सिंगापोर इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट लिवेबल कंट्रीज इन एशिया एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट टेक्नोलॉजिकली एडवांस कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द सिंगापोर इंटरनेशनल ग्रेजुएट अवार्ड नॉन एज सिंगा विच इज़ अ फुली फंडेड स्कॉलरशिप फॉर पी एच डी स्टूडेंट्स फ्राम ऑल नेशनलिटीज सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट द स्कॉलरशिप प्रोग्राम इट्स एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फाइनेंशियल कवरेज एंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ एप्लीकेशन बिफोर दैट इफ़ यू हैव नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू कैन रिसीव रेगुलर अपडेट्स regarding scholarships fellowships internships research exchange programs and postdoc opportunities around the globe so let us begin with today's video first of all we have opened the official website of singa the singapore international graduate award so let us begin with the introduction the singapore international graduate award is a collaboration between the agency of science technology and research a star the nanyang technological university ntu the national university of singapore nas the singapore university of technology and design sutd and the singapore management university smu so it is a collaborative project of the top universities of singapore and these universities are with no doubt one of the top ranked universities in the global ranking as well phd training will be carried out in english at your chosen lab at a star research institutes students will be supervised by distinguished and world renowned researchers in these labs upon successful completion students will be conferred a phd degree by either ntu nus sutd or smu so you must be thinking that the degree is worth taking as it is from one of the most top ranked institutes around the globe singapore is the gateway to some of the fastest growing economies in the asia pacific region and with singa you can pursue your phd education in singapore establish global links and take your research career to greater heights Singa fosters a vibrant and culturally diverse research community of international students. You will be working in a multicultural environment alongside distinguished and world-renowned researchers in state-of-the-art facilities. Pursue your PhD education in Singapore with Singa and take your research to greater heights. So the submission deadline for this scholarship program which is going to start in August 2022 is 1st december 2021 according to singapore time so over 29000 applications received from over 170 countries so far more than 950 awardees given the opportunity to work alongside renowned researchers and nearly 100 countries from where singa awardees hail so let us first have a look at the research areas that are available Research areas under the PhD program fall broadly under two categories. First one is biomedical sciences and the other one is physical science and engineering. So there are a variety of subjects available under these two domains broadly. So let us have a look at one or two websites of the eligible institutes and see which subjects are available. so if we open the a star website we can we can see that under biomedical heading bioinformatics bioprocessing technology genomics bioengineering nanotechnology molecular and cell biology and many other subjects related to biological sciences are available similarly if you look at the science and engineering section you have um, infocom research advanced manufacturing and technology high performance computing microelectronics etc infectious diseases labs you have a variety of labs available here also re related to environmental sciences there are different subjects available 
Similarly, if you open the NTU website, you can see here that the College of Engineering has a variety of subjects. Similarly, College of Science has a variety of subjects related to biological sciences, physical sciences and mathematical sciences and environment. So there is also a school of medicine here. So there is a diverse range of subjects available. Almost all subjects can be found in one of the eligible institutes. So you can one by one check all these institutes that are eligible for this scholarship and find out the program of your interest. Please note that you will be required to indicate your choices of supervisor in the application form. So make sure that you either uh, contact prior to applying uh, for scholarship with the um, possible supervisors in with whom you are interested to pursue your PhD. So that would be a uh, plus. You need to provide the name of the supervisor while filling your application form. Eligibility. Let us look at the eligibility criteria. So there is a simple criteria open for application to all international graduates with a passion of research and excellent academic results, good skills in written and spoken English, good reports of academic referees. So there are three aspects on which you will be judged. First of all, you need to be an international graduate with excellent academic record. Then you must have good uh, spoken and written English skills and then your referees uh, words should be motivating the above eligibility criteria are not exhaustive so they have designed a very simple eligibility criteria a star may include additional selection criteria based on prevailing scholarship policies these policies are subject to change at any instance so let us talk about the financial coverage what aspects this scholarship covers the award provides support for up to four years of PhD studies, including tuition fees, monthly stipend of $2,000, which will be increased to $2,500 Singaporean dollars after the passing of the qualifying exam. So it is quite an impressive stipend and worth, worth living in Singapore. As you can see, the estimated cost of living in Singapore that is between 1400 to 2000 so you can easily manage your uh, daily cost of living with this stipend. Application procedure. Let us discuss the application procedure now. Go to the research areas to browse the projects you are interested in. Documents required. Do prepare the following documents in advance before applying. Do not mail any hard copies of Singa uh, to Singa office. All necessary documents are to be submitted online. So you just need to fill up the online portal application with these documents. First one, valid passport, a recent passport size photograph, transcripts and reports, bachelor's, master's, and their uh, transcripts and degrees and two recommendation reports to be completed and submitted online by the referees so in your application form you will provide the details of your two referees that will be contacted for your recommendation and they will submit the recommendation themselves optional you need to optionally provide GRE IELTS TOEFL or SAT score but this is optional and not mandatory important information you can read out this information when you are ready to fill up the application form. So the submission deadline once again is 1st December 2021. So for additional questions you can click here. So here they have provided you the frequently asked questions click here or you can contact at this email if you have any further queries. So let us move towards the application procedure. Here we have a link apply now via this link. When you click on this link, you have to create an account here. So I have already created an account for your information. So let me add up the details of my account. And then we will see that what information is required to be filled in this portal let 
let me see if I remember the password correctly. Okay, let me try again. If you have not created your account yet, you first need to click on register now and then create an account. Your personal information like passport number will be required to create an account. Once you, uh, your account is created and verified from your email, you can click on login. Alright, so I need to provide the validation code. Let me grab the code and I will be back. Okay, there is a two-factor authentication system here. So they sent a code on my application for validation. So I needed to grab my cell phone for that. So I have logged in successfully now. So let's have a look how we need to fill up our application. If you are new to the portal, you will click here, apply to the scholarship. But my scholarship is already being uh, filled for your guidance. So let us have a look what is required. Uh, you will see first the notification that please ensure that your referees reports at least two are submitted within seven working days upon your application submission. So, so when you will submit your application, they will contact your referees and they need to submit the response within seven working days. So make sure that you uh, tell your referees that they need to complete the process timely. So what documents are needed? Let us review that. Passport is required, a passport size photograph, bachelor's academic transcript, bachelor's degree, master's transcript, master's degree and two recommendation reports. And the optional document that is GRE, IELTS, TOEFL or SAT score and the awards and publications if you have any. So you need to provide all this information and then let us look at uh, uh, first tab that is the personal information tab you need to fill up all your personal information here including personal information citizenship information contact information and family details so after filling all these information you will click on next and you will move towards the education details tab here you need to provide your tertiary education that is the most recent one then you will uh, move towards the previous degrees means if you have done ms or mphil uh, recently then you need to add the information of your masters first of all then you will add the information of your bs then fsc and that is enough Men, uh, entering the metric information for psd application is not really required so you will click next again then you need to provide your educational details others that is uh, if you have appeared in any competitive test you need to enter the score i have filled the score of ielts as an example so then you will click next again and here comes the languages award cca languages you need to enter your mother language and click here on the language which is your mother language uh, first of all there is no option of urdu so you can select others and write urdu here and you also need to tell your proficiency of this language also if you have received any prizes and awards click here on add entry and enter the details of them the next tab is the career tab and here you need to provide uh, an essay of uh, maximum of 3000 words where you need to uh, provide the answer that what are your career aspirations so you need to provide in detail the answer of this question in the form of essay make sure that you write a good and attractive essay with no grammatical errors uh, because it is one of the key criteria of judging your application then you need to provide your research project experience this uh, the limit of this essay is also 3000 words and then you need to provide your employment history 
click on add entry and provide all your information have you worked in a star family before if you have not uh, gone or achieved this scholarship before you will simply click on no then you need to uh, provide your research experience simply by clicking here on add entry then you need to provide your published papers if you have any click on add entry and write the information then moving towards the next tab that is educational plans here you need to provide previous and current scholarship award application made to a star if you have applied previously uh, for one of the scholarships uh, related to a star then you need to provide the information previous and current scholarship award application made to other organizations if you have applied for any other scholarship other than singapore then you need to uh, provide the information here the next tab is research tab so here you will provide the details of your subjective supervisor and institute and also the project title and project description so you need to finalize your title and project description with your subjective supervisor prior to up, uh, filling up this application form and the last tab is <clears throat> essay questions here you need to write uh, one essay that is please provide us your personal statement why you think you deserve the singapore international graduate award please limit your statement to 500 words so in 500 words you need to tell why you are a competitive applicant for this particular scholarship make sure you write a good one again without grammatical errors because these essays are really important in the selection process so here you need to provide the uh, details of your two referees which will later be contacted by the agency for your uh, feedback and make sure your referees write a very good feedback and also based on reality so at last you need to uh, click on the declaration you will need to declare that all the information you provided is correct and then you can submit your application so this was all uh, the simple process of applying for singapore international graduate award i think we have discussed all aspects of this scholarship this is one of the best scholarships available around the globe and singapore is one of the finest places to plan your higher studies so with that do not forget to share like and subscribe our youtube channel and promote it and share it with those who are eligible to apply with that this is dr bookworm signing off allah hafiz